I was curious about you starting Oddball and like how that now plays into you know everything you're doing with upcoming projects, whether that's now a good place to kind of do pre-production and more plot out a lot of what you're doing and everything else too. But also you've got your announcement with Paramount and how that ties into everything as well. I'd love to pick your brain about Apes, but obviously that's, I'm sure in early development. I'll just say Apes is gonna be freaking amazing. I'll tell you this about Apes. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna tell you anything about it, but um, I was after Mouse Guard got canceled, right? And you know, everyone was very apologetic about it. It just, it didn't work out, right? It, it, they, they didn't have the desire to make it. But then they kind of took me aside and said, you know, what would you do with, with Planet of the Apes? Because I had just been, I just now spent two years with Matt Reeves on Mouse Guard. He was a producer on Mouse Guard, right? So, you know, we were doing it all motion capture. I was working with Weta, all that kind of stuff. So all the pieces were there already, right? At first, I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. That's, I don't. Know, that's a good idea, guys. You know, and and because um, that last trilogy was fantastic. It's probably one of the greatest trilogies we've had in recent memory that I can think of. You know, there's Lord of the Rings, of course, um, but it's just incredibly well done movies, right? Um, where do you go from there? <laughs> you know what I mean? And so there was a moment, probably a week or two later, after I was thinking about it, where I kind of found my way in, essentially, without giving it away. I was not interested in doing a part four, right? But at the same time, I did want did not want to lose what came before. <laughs> so we found, I think, a really great take on it that allows us to stay in the kind of Caesar universe, but also carve our own track and I think to open the movie up in a huge way that's going to be freaking kick-ass movie. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. We're going to open, we're going to, we're going to push things on the technological front, on the world front, on just the tone front of things. Um, but at the same time, it still belongs to the legacy that came before us. And I say that all the way to the very first Planet of the Apes movie, because uh, the Charlton Heston movie, oddly, it was, you know, came out in the 60s, right? Late 60s. I don't know why, but I grew up watching that thing. It was probably on VHS. I don't know why, but I loved that movie. So, I have like, I've had, you know, a, a connection to this, this franchise for a long time. And, you know, it, and when I said, I think I got it and I came and told them what I was kind of thinking about doing, they got it too. They said, they're all cool. We immediately got Josh Friedman to write the script. Um, and we got, um, uh, Rick and Amanda, um, who are the original writers of the very first of the last trilogy movies and producers for all the rest of the last three movies. And so we've all, we're already kind of playing in this great space yeah. of incredibly talented folks, you know, that have a sense of honor and respect for what this is. But also, like I said, um, we're gonna, we're gonna open this thing up and, and, and I think do what Disney wants <laughs> and, and what I certainly want. And I think people are gonna have a good time with it. It's, it's, um, you know, I love world creation. So that's, that's a big part of this. I think it's so awesome because typically, I mean, it's just like anything you're most people want to kind of forget the history and you know yeah you know. this is this is not a reboot but at the same time like i said it's not a sequel you know so it's this is odd little thing but i think people are going to freaking love it because it, it just it is the natural step for the next probably trilogy of the next chapters of this, fr this franchise which i i love dearly <laughs> you know what i mean so we very much not want to screw it up um and i think we've got the people around us to make that happen so you know, with any luck, maybe around this summer, we'll start really honest, earnestly in prep. You know, I have I have had a an art team right before the pandemic happened, essentially while it happened, had a, a pretty awesome art team put together where we did a, a tremendous amount of art development that we'll do even more of. Um, but uh, yeah, no, man, I'm, I'm super excited about it. And the oddball thing is, you know, it's kind of interesting because like it's kind of the reward you get when you make a, a successful movie. You know, like like Maze Runner was, um, it was the studio's most profitable movie that year, right? It was this little tiny movie that made a whole lot of money, you know? And so that was just a chance. So, okay, we're going to start a company. And I did that with my, like I said, my producer buddy, you know, Joe Hartwick. We started this little company together. And it's just, it's just basically, a, a, you're putting a flag in for the studio to say, hey, we want to be in business with you as not just a director, but as a, someone who wants to feed you content, right? To give you projects and use our brain to kind of develop things for you, right? And so that's that's what that, that basically is. Um, it lets me kind of hire, they basically give us some money to basically have an office and hire some people to help read scripts and, 
and just you know hear ideas and you know just just that whole kind of uh, machine of development and producing world essentially right mm -hmm. some of that stuff i direct some of the stuff i do not right um the i was at, obviously at the deal the deal was at fox because of the major owner stuff and because emma watts was there um since then disney has now bought fox and emma has now moved to paramount and so she said you coming over here, boy? <laughs> and I said, but wait a minute, you literally gave me the job for Planet of the Apes at Fox. I will probably be doing this for the next two years. She's like, fine, it's fine. I just want you over here. And, I, and how do I, how do I not accept that? Right. And right. so we have a great little deal, a relationship over there where Paramount is a fantastic, in a fantastic place where it's kind of in a, it's in a complete reawakening in a way. You know, the whole regime has kind of changed and new people have come in, all people that I know, fortunately, from the from the old Fox days, Jim Giannopoulos is the chairman, Emma Watts, a lot of the a lot of the executives are coming over from Fox to there. So it's like it feels like it feels like Fox already, but they're in this great place where Paramount gets to take swings and create new things, <laughs> new IP, you know, not just kind of old, rebooting franchises, you know. And they get to kind of make carve their own path. That's gonna be fun to be a part of. You know what yeah. I mean? That's gonna be really fun to help help fuel some of that. You know, they have lots of deals, but you know, on, on our front, you know, we like to do small scale stories on a big canvas. You know, and that's the kind of movies that I grew up on. You know, that's that's Jurassic Park. That's Star Wars, frankly, <laughs> right? Um, the first, the first Star Wars. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's an exciting time for us while we at the same time, you know, uh, are, are kind of busy on on uh, on Planet of the Apes. You know, we've got probably a half dozen, maybe a dozen, I think really freaking cool, unique, fresh projects that are in various stages that, you know, we'll see what happens, you know? So I'm super excited. Times. <laughs>